Welcome to 3 Minute Thoughts on Access and Inclusion through Technology. In this video, we look at how technology enables people with disabilities to live independently. What do we mean by independence? When we talk about independence here, we're talking about the freedom from the control or undue influence of other people. It's not about where we live, but how we live. Definitions of independence are culturally determined. They're not universal. But independence does have strong links to equality of choices. It means that, we, that people with disabilities have the same choices and control in their everyday lives that their brothers and sisters, neighbours and friends take for granted. Growing up with their families, going to the neighbourhood schools, using the same transport and working in jobs that are in line with the expectations, aspirations of anybody within their community. However, we cannot said to be truly independent if we are alone and lonely. Independence and inclusion are very closely related. Real independence comes when we feel both safe and secure and able to make autonomous decisions. Technology is an important tool in helping us achieve both of these. Technology is changing from computers to phones and tablets, to wearables and smart homes. Technology is everywhere, it's pervasive, and new technologies offer new and exciting opportunities. So how can technology enable people with disabilities to live more independently? We start with alerts, helping us with safety and security. Those reminders and prompts that help us take our medication, address our self-care needs, support us when we're traveling and to remember our commitments. Technology in the background helps all of us to remember things that are important. Alerts can also be shared so a friend or family member can further assist if needed. The technology that alerts us can also monitor our well-being. It allows us to maintain a watchful eye on our own care and with the sharing of data family and professionals can help monitor our well-being whether actively or passively. Heart rate, blood sugar, and both falls and unexpected inactivity can provide data that can trigger rapid assistance if needed. By using location-based services, we can plan where we need to be, call upon transport services at a touch of a button, and can call for assistance if feeling lost or confused. Communication is vital to independence. That ability to call for assistance uses technology to communicate. Through our voice, text, images or video, we remain connected to others, reducing our sense of isolation. We have an opportunity to remain connected to friends, family and others, regardless of our physical location. With a voice, with that capacity to communicate, we can state our aspirations, decisions and preferences. Furthermore, we can use our phone, tablet or smart speaker to control the world around us through a command or gesture. As new technology emerges, so increasingly our needs and preferences will be capable of being predicted, changing the environment according to our habits and behaviour. Independence based on control, communication and access to information increasingly is a realistic aspiration for many. But looking ahead, we need to take heed of risks, misuse and abuse of personal data and undue dependency on technology which may fail or, may, or malfunction. In future three minute thoughts, we might explore some of these issues in greater depth, thinking about new opportunities, new risks, and how we address these. Till then, thank you for listening. Feel free to share, discuss, and debate. <music>